We made it. We're hours away from 2021. And today we're counting down our top 10 most outrageous Mari stories of the past 12 months. So let's get back to the countdown. Coming in at number seven is Rosalind. You see, Rosalind came here to prove to a man named Emmanuel that he was the father of her son, Emmanuel. Now, Emmanuel claimed that when he drinks gin, he hooks up with white women. And when he drinks brandy, he hooks up with black women. He distinctly recalled drinking gin on the night that Rosalind says she got pregnant, which proved, according to him, he wasn't the dad. His little hypothesis on why he's not the dad is downright ridiculous. Did he ever stop to think that drinking a little too much gin blurred his vision that night? And he didn't know what color woman he was sleeping with. Emmanuel needs to stop blaming on the alcohol and step up and be a father to his son. I have never, ever, ever heard an excuse like this. Jen, I'm with white women. Randy, I'm with black women. Yes. And therefore, if he was drinking gin that night on his birthday, it wasn't with you. All right. Yeah, he was sipping all right. He was sipping on my feelings. It hurts me that my son don't have his father in his life. And he wasn't there during your pregnancy, was he? No, he wasn't there the whole nine months of my pregnancy. What did you decide after that day? After that, I was like, I'm done. I, I swore off me. In fact, she says her girlfriend, Monica, has been by her side throughout this entire movie. When Emmanuel came out, everybody was shocked over what he had to say, especially Rosalind and her current girlfriend, Monica. Take a look. You got two preferences, gin and brandy, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whenever when I go out, yeah. depends on what I'm drinking, yep. is what I'm If it's Seagram's gin, I'm with the snow bunnies, you know, the white chicks. <laughs> if it's e and or brandy, I'm with the chocolate chips, you know, the black beauties. Oh, my God. There's another reason you think you're not the father. Because she was messing one of my homeboys. Plus, I got the royal treatment. You know what I mean? You know what the royal treatment is, don't you? Oh, oh, oh. Why are you talking to me? I'm calling you. He needs you to be there for him. He needs you to show him the world. Imagine. Why is Mike helping the ring? Imagine. How you doing, Mari? Good to see you. He's still trying to sleep with my girl. But he can't have none because she's mine. In the case of two-year-old Emmanuel, Emmanuel, you are the boy. Next time you have gin and the next time you have brandy, put a cover on it, all right? Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. So Emmanuel was drinking brandy after all. So what happened after those results? Did Emmanuel step up as a father? Why? Hi, Maury. Let me tell you something. Since the last show, Monica and I have gone our separate ways. But I'm not the only one who's made some changes. Maury, I know it's hard to believe, but I gave up liquor. No more gin and brandy. Keeps my life fine and dandy. It looks like he realized how damn silly he looked on your show, Maury. That's right, Maury. I'm going to try to do better. Fix my foolish ways and be a better dad to Emmanuel. Bye, Bye. Maury. Next up at number six is a country love song gone bad. Phyllis came to our show because she believed her fiancé, Scott, was being unfaithful. Now, Scott... He was an up-and-coming country singer who claimed it was his job to build a female fan base. Uh, Phyllis wasn't buying it. Watch this. Didn't you know, know the fact that he cheated on every one of his 25 girlfriends? But I, I didn't know he cheated on every single girlfriend, no. I don't understand why she don't trust me. You're a country music singer. Everything you do, you say you do for your family. I don't believe that because... Why does a man need to add so many women to Facebook? Like 500 women, and he says it's for well, his fan base. Before I even got with men her. Like, but men like country music, too. Why can't you add just as many men as you do women? Because a man ain't going to be a loyal fan. Take a look at one of the messages that you, Scott, sent one of your followers. Do you find me attractive? Phyllis. I told you, this is, this is, I told you that I did not find you attractive, speak. that's right. Neither one of you uh, trust each other, apparently, is that right? I want to trust and, and work, I want to be with this girl for the rest of my life. Now, the drama didn't end there. See, Scott had his own concerns 
that Phyllis was the one who was cheating. So we gave them both lie detector tests. Who would pass? Who would fail? Take a look. I can admit I was a cheater back in the day, but I changed everything for my fiance Phyllis. All this drama comes down to my love for country music, and I'm sick of it. Me? I can admit that I was a cheater back in the day, but I changed everything for my fiance Phyllis. You make it seem like I'm this big, awful bitch. Well, that's exactly what you put it out as. During your relationship with Scott, have you ever had sexual contact with any other man? You said no, you are telling the truth. I know I'm telling the truth. I've never done anything on you. Do you use your music career as a country singer to cover up the fact that you're cheating on Phyllis? You said no. You are telling the truth. Have you ever had sexual contact of any kind with any other woman? Scott, you said no. You are telling the truth. Thank you. Now I can trust you. I apologize. Wow. A double dose of great news. So how are Phyllis and Scott doing since the show? Take a look at this video update. Hi, Maury. We both came on your show for a lie detector test, and we were both surprised by the results. I knew I wasn't cheating, but I thought for sure Scott was being shady. I'm so glad I can trust him now, and we can move forward in our relationship. Maury, thank you so much. Coming onto your show really helped our relationship. Now I can do my job, interact with my fans, and there's no problem. We are doing so much better since we've been on your show, and I appreciate every bit of it. Thank you for helping us with our relationship. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>